We're now in a new section of our plotting and publishing in AutoCAD course. We're going to look at plotting to scale in our AutoCAD drawing. So we have a whole new drawing that looks remarkably familiar, which is the 05 underscore plotting to scale dot DWG file. So what we're going to do now is look at the viewport scale and the annotation scale and how they combine with annotative scaling to work with your scaled viewports in your layout tabs effectively. Now that sounds really complicated, doesn't it? It's not complicated and you'll see why when I set up an annotative dimension object using an annotative scale. It's very, very easy when you see how it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a dimension on staircase A on the left hand side of the drawing in the model tab. So let's zoom in first. So go over here to staircase A, zoom in nice and tight, get it over like that. And you want to be looking at the central handrail here because I'm going to place a linear dimension from that corner there to that corner there. Now, before we do that, what we need to do is make sure that we're using the appropriate layer, dimensions layer, but also more importantly, the appropriate annotation scale. So in your home tab on the ribbon, go to your layers panel here, like so, and make sure you're using A Anno Dims, that layer there. That's the layer you need to pick from your layer pull down menu. Then we need to make sure that we're using the appropriate annotative dimension style. Now we can do this on the home tab. We can go to the annotation panel here, click on the flyout. And what we'll do is instead of clicking here like this on the dimension style, can you see they all look like they're diagonal? Click on manage dimension styles after clicking on the pull down and you can see a list of all of your dimension styles in the dimension style manager. Make sure you select this one, the diagonal 2.5 millimeter aerial anno dimension style. I've created that one for you. And you'll notice the little blue symbol, the little pyramid symbol there, denotes that it's annotative. Very important that it's annotative, otherwise this won't work. So select that style, click on set current and close just to make sure it's the current dimension style. Now, if I just jump into the stair A layout tab here and just click here on this particular viewport like that, can you see down on the status bar, the viewport scale is 1 to 20. Just hit escape to deselect the viewport and jump back into the model tab. What we need to do before we place the dimension is make sure that our annotation scale in model space in the model tab is also 1 to 20, which it was already because obviously I've tested this exercise before we do it. True Blue Peter fashion for those Brits out there. If you remember the Blue Peter program, here's one I prepared earlier. So what we're going to do is dimension the handrail. I can do this again from the home tab on the ribbon, go to the annotation panel, click on the flyout and select a linear dimension. So what I do now, use my object snaps, endpoint snap there, endpoint snap there, and just drag that upwards just to about there, that's fine, and click there. So you can see that we have a linear dimension of 536 millimeters. Now, because it's got that annotative scaling associated with it, we need to check the annotative scale works. So how do we check that? Well, it's very easy. We go back to our stair A layout tab. And if we zoom in now, can you see that dimension has appeared there? However, if I look in the other viewport over here and zoom in, it hasn't appeared because the viewport scale here is different to the annotative scale on that dimension. So I would need to check this viewport here like so and that's at 1 to 200, that viewport scale. So the dimension will not appear because it hasn't got a 1 to 200 annotative scale or annotation scale applied to it. So that's how annotative scaling works when you're working with a viewport scale and an annotation scale. What we'll look at in the next video is how you set all of that up and start scaling annotatively for multiple scales in your AutoCAD drawings.